Inclusion to me is um, making big and small choices that welcome people into your spaces. Even though you kind of often automatically think about um, disability inclusion in particular being physical access and changing stairs to ramps, um, it can be that, but it's also really important to remember that inclusion is the small stuff and the free stuff, which is um, making considered choices in our language, thinking about um, why we think the things that we think, why we say the things that we say. Um, are they welcoming? Are they kind? You know, are they inclusive? And when you start with a foundation of um, inclusive language and inclusive actions and inclusive thoughts, that's where you can build that bigger inclusion. Inclusion uh, means um talking to people and finding out what it is that they need in order to fit in. And it's, it's an active approach to try and make sure that everyone is, finds their place within a community or an or, or organization or, um, or yeah, even a home. My name is Dylan Totus. Um, so my disability is somewhere on the autism spectrum or crossover with uh, rare epilepsy. And uh, what I do, I'm a consultant and I often consult on uh, government programs and try and improve them. People with a disability have so much to offer. Um, they're the same as everyone else. Um, it's just that they have uh, different barriers to accessing the things that people normally could. And it's up to the community to remove these barriers. And the reason why they should do it is because for the reasons discussed above, no one should be left behind. Uh, it'll help bring out their strengths and help them um, thrive as a member of the community. And it, it's often a thing in communities, um, in old communities, especially like ancient ones, um, where they would find places for people with disabilities or for the um, elderly or for um, those with different characteristics and they would create specialized roles for them. And they would become the, the town elders, they'd become the, um, uh, the wisdoms of the town. They'd always find the place for them and that role would become sacred and special. And that's, I think that's what communities need to do is um, be open to creating these roles um, and don't try and use pre-existing frameworks to try and do it. And that would, it'll unlock the, the potential of the entire community, not just select individuals. Sometimes you experience it so frequently, you don't even really think about it as exclusion. You're just like, oh, that's somewhere that I can't go. And as part of that, I really wanted to be more involved in my local community by joining the community garden. And when I first approached the community garden, they were keen to have me join, but then quickly realized that um, I, couldn't, they, they, I couldn't get in the gate. I couldn't reach the plots because they were all on the ground, of course, that's where plants grow. Um, but even all of the paths were made of loose gravel. So I couldn't even do a garden tour um, and get around without getting my wheelchair stuck in the rocks. And so um, they realized really quickly here that it was an inclusive space, even though a community garden is somewhere everyone should be able to go learn and grow and share. Um, by me wanting to join, they realized like, oh, this isn't actually for everyone, even though we want it to be. Um, and it's hard and, and those things happen so frequently that, um, you know, you might not really think that a lot can change, but actually by speaking to people at the community garden, um, they were able to secure funding to 
get some raised garden beds to change some of the gravel to get it compacted so that um, you know I can drive right up to them um, as well as you know they're going to change the gate so I can get in and out it's not done yet but it will be soon um, but it's really only about by asking the questions making people realize that even though you say you're inclusive doesn't necessarily mean automatically that you're inclusive because it's also about doing the work and making the changes. So my name is Belle Owen um, and I live with physical disability and I am a project lead uh, for the Disability Inclusion Training Project at Purple Orange, uh, which is a social enterprise that aims to improve life chances for people who live with disability. I mean, it depends on the, the community, but you know, having more members means more strength of that community. It means more access to resources, whatever the resources are that you want, whether it's people power, whether it's you know, voting power, whether it's um, people who can contribute financially, all of those things. Um, you know, having a broader group of people brought in means that you have like more access to that and more access to those like different perspectives that we kind of spoke about. And I think that there's so much value in that, in learning about other people and welcoming them into your spaces. Inclusion to me is something, you know, starting very small but ending up very big. I think communities really need to first listen to individuals and to, to groups, um, understand what their, their needs are, and then it's about actively trying to find a, a place for them. Um, you, you can't just try and pigeonhole people. If you do need to create a new place or create a new framework or understanding, it's much better to do that. It's much harder to get an individual to adapt to a new environment, whereas communities can evolve and adapt quite quickly if you let them. And uh, I think that's the best way to build inclusive communities. My name is Ayla. Um, I was born with profound hearing loss and I currently work as a social worker and a project officer um, raising family and uh, uh, social policy. And um, in my spare time, I love to play football and I'm part of the Odinga Football Club. So. I um, actually became a player myself, so when I first, about two years ago, because they weren't, you know, the uh, coaches and the other players were like, come and play for us, come and play for us, you come and play for us. Um, and I thought, oh, okay, uh, they um, twist my arm, let's do it. Uh, because I've had experiences in community sport before where I have felt excluded and I had, um, some hesitancy about team sports, although I love playing sports, I love fitness. Um, sometimes it's like I don't know what to expect with my teammates. Um, and, but it was really that active going after me saying, come on, come play. And then when I'm you know, at trainings and the, the coach was like, um, Made, he made sure, like small details, like making sure that I could read his lips, um, making sure that his back was never turned to me. Um, I was never made to feel, sometimes I could feel embarrassed about um, making a mistake because I hadn't heard the whistle or I hadn't heard um, a cue. And my teammates would actively, you know, be like, no, don't worry about that, we don't care. You know, I, that the, I think it's just the environment and just that feeling that it wasn't, that they still, they acknowledged and recognised that I needed some support in some ways, but they never made it feel like it was a burden or um, it was, you know, it was just like, well, you, you pay for us, you're a part of us, this is what we have to do. Um, it was just very matter of fact, um, and, and a whole person, you know, it wasn't just about, okay, we need to make sure we accommodate. It was very whole person in that um, all my other parts of me were celebrated and it's just that real teammate, yeah. In Ayla's uh, situation, we try and make sure that 
she can she will have direct line of sight to when when we're talking, um, so that she can pick up exactly what we're trying to explain uh, to the to the team, um, so that she understands what what her role is going to be, um, what her game day role is going to be, just general general drills. Uh, so we just have to try and we, it's not a big change that you have to do. You just have to it's just a little tiny thing that you have to implement to make sure that she feels completely included in what we're trying to get across. Inclusion means people listening to who I am and uh, and letting me in, letting me be part of uh, what it is that they're offering. So, and not rejecting me because of something that's odd or unusual.